Hello everyone and welcome to the RC Retro channel. In this episode, I'm finally going to restore my vintage bigwig. I got this about a year ago and it's just been sitting on my shelf collecting dust and being ignored. I've got a couple other RCs uh, that came to my channel after this that kind of leapfrogged over this and now I'm finally motivated, I guess, to finally restore this. I think it's a very cool looking buggy. I don't know why, just never got around to restoring it, but now I finally am. Since acquiring this, I have been able to source a few original parts uh, for this restoration. I noticed when I originally got it that it was missing the sub chassis or the upper chassis plate that goes right across the top. And I was able to find one of those easily on eBay, still in the original packaging. The car itself is in rather good condition, but there are a few scratches along the uh, chassis, the bottom of the chassis here, and the rear plate and the front bumper. So I have been able to source a brand new chassis. These are really easy to come by because of the re-release, but I did not want um, a re-release chassis. I'm trying to keep this 100% original. So thanks to my buddy Ben, he happened to have one of these brand new in his packaging, a vintage chassis for the big rig. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you, Ben. I do have a new bumper on its way and I do have some new vintage rear and front arms. Now, the most exciting thing is probably the spare body kit. This is from Japan. The box is in decent condition. Uh, it's a little stained and the cardboard over here is starting to fray a little bit but you know that's not the point the point is what's inside the box right so got a little bubble wrap in here original big wig body that does not have the protective coating on it so i'm going to have to cut it out and then mask the outside of it The original driver figure and the roof, the yellow roof. Put that right there for right now. The wheel wells that go uh, underneath the rear of the car that are cut out and sprayed white. The metal roof and the zip ties and the hardware for it. The instructions, which Time has not been very kind to the instructions, but they're in here. Boom. And then last but not least, probably the best part, the original stickers. So there you go. Very excited about this. It's a sharp looking buggy and I can't wait to get it painted up and uh, these stickers on. So I hope you enjoy my video and let the restoration begin. All right, so the body is cut out, it's sanded, and it's washed. First thing I did was mask off these areas, which will eventually be painted white. The manual calls for the cockpit to be painted black. I didn't feel like masking off the entire car. So what I did was I just used some curved tape, went around the cockpit, and I just painted the cockpit. I didn't spray it. I painted it with a brush. So I took the whole front end of the car off. I'm gonna strip it down, give it a quick cleaning in the ultrasonic cleaner. While that's going on, I'm gonna take out the mechanical speed control, the servos and the steering mechanism and get this into an original vintage big wig chassis that's in mint condition. Box of goodies just arrived. This is some spare parts I needed to help me get my big wig back to near mint condition. And I purchased a few items from the seller and the seller was kind enough to throw in a couple extra freebies, which I thought was pretty cool. So one rear wheel, was scratched up. I just needed one, but you can't just buy one. 
the seller was selling all four, so I figured why not? It was a very, very good price. So that'll help me out greatly. Um, let's see, what else in here did I buy? I needed a resistor plate and the actual resistor, so I purchased this as well. Um, I saw the metal parts bag, so I wanted this, so I purchased this because this has the resistor cover and some of the metal parts, which I don't particularly need, but has another roof. What I really needed was the resistor cover. And then what I think, oh, there they are. I needed some rear arms because the bottom ones are all scuffed and scratched up. So I, I bought these as well. And then this is a sub chassis, which is the um, top piece that goes over the chassis. I was able to find another one of these, but this person I purchased from threw this in at no cost. So now I have two. He also threw in this tool bag for the big wig, which is pretty cool. The original damper oil and uh, has the brush spreader for the technical motor in there. And it has these little rubber accordions that go over either side of the steering arms. All right, so let's keep going with the rebuild. So here is the Technigold motor that came with the big wig. I want to say it's in pretty good condition. I mean, there's a little scuffing right here and right over here. But other than that, the rest of the motor is pretty clean. The end bell uh, is very clean. The leads are fine. I don't have to do any resoldering. There's no rusting inside. Um, believe it or not, I get some motors that aesthetically on the outside look fine, but then when you look in the inner part over here, and over here is rusted, and that is not. All right, that pretty much sums up my big wig restoration. And I stopped the video right after I rebuilt the back end. And I'll tell you why in a second. But first, let me just tell you that I really, really love the way this buggy came out. And I love the way it looks. Uh, a lot of people online, not all, but a lot of people will say they don't think this is a good looking buggy. And I would have to disagree. I think it's a fabulous looking buggy. I just love the color scheme on it. I love the way it sits. I love the design of the body. And, and that's what to me is all about. To me is cars have personality, character. Um, they don't all look the same. They look very different. And that's, that's what I love so much. This pretty much came out awesome. Probably the best body I've done or one of the best bodies I've done. Uh, as you know, it's an original body with uh, the original stickers. So I was very happy about that. Um, for the most part, uh, everything on here is original except for the bumper and the rear uh, skid plate underneath. So those two pieces are re-releases because I could not find original ones. Uh, the hardware is in really good condition. It's all original hardware. The tires cleaned up nicely. I uh, used a mixture of water and simple green and scrubbed them down. Um, the wheels, the um, Mooncraft wheels are original. I only had to replace one because one had scuffs and scratches on them. But altogether, uh, I was very, very pleased with how this came out. A um, couple things. Number one, it is not 100% completed yet. I still have the wheel wells to cut out and paint. Uh, and I need to get those on. And then I need to do the driver figure as well. 
Uh, second, um, the body is a little finicky to get on. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but after I cut out the body and I painted it and I went to put it on, it just wasn't sitting right. And I really, really was, was struggling with the front end uh, to push down and get it through. And I was like, what the hell did I do wrong with this? Why isn't it sitting on there very nicely? So I reached out to Glenn at Tamiya Legends knowing that he did a whole video series on the big wig and he said he experienced the same thing. He said it's very finicky and you really got to push down to get the pin through the post. So that's what I did and now it's on and it looks great. Um, the last thing is, and I'm going to take the body off and show you, so I'm going to switch camera angles, is you got to love uh, vintage plastic because... I must have snapped this thing <laughs> in about six or seven different places. Yes, stress fractures galore all over this buggy. And after I put it together, and that's why I stopped the video right after I uh, put the back end together because as I started to attach the back end and the front end to the chassis, I started to notice that pieces were cracking. And I could easily go out and get re-release parts, but I'm not gonna be running this. This is just gonna be sitting on a shelf to display. So it's not about the money because it's an expensive hobby and I do spend a lot of money on this hobby, right? It's just that I wanted to try to keep the car as original as possible so I can deal with some stress fractures on the car with the plastic. If it's sitting on a shelf, it looks you know, like a beautiful buggy. If I wanted to run it, then I would definitely go out and replace the parts. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as is, but I'm going to get the body off, switch camera angles, and just show you uh, all the different areas of the car that um, did snap, crack, whatever. Okay? So the first area I noticed that had stress fractures as I was putting this back together was the top of the gearbox right here and then the base of the uh, blue shock tower. Another stress fracture came when I was putting the front gearbox in and I was putting the screw uh, through the blue shock tower right here and this, the screw threads into this post uh, that holds the front end of the car onto the chassis and that instantaneously cracked. If you look down to the blue hub, you'll see a crack and that's not just on this side of the car, but on the other side as well. And on the front end of the car, right over here where the pin goes into the top arm, there is a crack. And on the gearbox, uh, where this gold screw is going through holding the gearbox closed, there is a stress fracture as well. So again, some unfortunate stress cracks, but Things could be a lot worse. Still love the way this buggy looks and how it came out. It's super clean, the body came out awesome, and it's gonna look fantastic uh, on my shelf with the rest of my collection, so. What's next? What is the next project that I'm gonna be focusing on for my channel? Well, a few weeks ago I turned 40 years old, so I figured what better way uh, to celebrate that with the 40th anniversary edition that Tamiya put out of the uh, Porsche Turbo RSR 934 uh, Jägermeister. Um, I'm not too familiar with this car, um, but I came across one at a very reasonable price, so I bought it. And I guess, you know, because I turned 40 and this is celebrating 40 years of Tamiya, it was an excuse for me to buy it, right? So. This is the next kit I'm gonna crack open and uh, begin working on. So that's the next project. So if you liked my video of the big wig restoration, please give it a like. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And for all my subscribers already, I just wanna thank you for your support. Drop a comment. Um, and that's about it. So thank you again. And until the next video. Hey, like my video? Then give it a thumbs up. And if you're into RC, please consider subscribing to my channel to check out some of my other vintage RC content.